Hi guys, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to configure SMDR on the SV and SL systems. I'll be assuming you have the right credentials, either installer or admin level, with the right permissions. To connect and take a download you can click on Control D, or you can click on the connect button up the top and then hit connect after you've entered the credentials. That message will pop up if you are connected to a VPN. Just hit OK and it will connect as normal. Now up the top click on the blue arrow pointing down for a download. If you've clicked on Control D at the start it will automatically take a download after you connect. Once it's done hit close. Alright, first memory block is 1020. External Equipment LAN Setup So what we're looking for now is 10.20.05 SMDR Output By default it's set to 0 So we can just make up another port So let's make it 10.20 Then hit Apply Alright, our next memory block is 35.01 SMDR Options So 35.01.01 we make that LAN now the other parameters uh, below to modify the digits, you can play around with those. So if the reports don't come out as you like or you want to modify it, then just go ahead. SMDR format type, I like to select general overseas. And there's a little description of what that does. So next up is 3502. In here you can fine tune the SMDR format to your liking. I usually modify 15, depending on what type of lines the customer has and how they're labelled. So basically you just need to muck around with this setting until you get the format correct for your software. And once you've made any changes, just make sure you hit apply. Okay, the next memory block is 3503. And this is to either block or allow any SIP trunks. So if you have a private line, you don't want SMDR to be reported, you can put it in a different SMDR port group. Okay, so now we go at the top, click the upload button and only upload the changes we just made and hit close, disconnect. Then we go over to our terminal software. In this case I'll use Hyper Terminal, but you can use Terraterm or Putty or any other terminal software you know of to test it with. If you're getting value out of this video, just smash that like button, it really helps me out. So just enter a name to name the profile and under connect using select tcp ip enter the ip address of the phone system which that wasn't it so i got to go back to the phone system connect i'll copy the ip address paste it and the port number was 1020 yep 1020 and hit ok now down the bottom you should be able to see that it's connected if you've done everything correctly. So now you may notice that there's no traffic at all. So you'll have to initiate an incoming call. Now because SMDR was turned off, there's no call data. There's nothing buffered. So if it was turned on and we had just connected Hyper Terminal, it'll start spitting out all the traffic. Now the SV9100 buffers up to 4000 calls. So depending on how busy that site is, that's plenty of backup in case your SMDR software drops out for some reason. Now I'm just looking up the number to dial. I'm just going to make a call. Alright, I'll just hang up. Alright, as you can see, the call traffic comes through and it's all working fine. You might need to go back to the 35 memory block just to tweak the SMDR information based on your software, just so you can get it right. And also go back to 15.01.03 and turn SMDR on and off per extension as well. Thank you for watching guys, hopefully this was helpful and you can like, subscribe and share. See you next time.